Hey everyone, I have a try-on video for you, but I will not be trying anything on from here in my bathroom. I actually drove up to Fredericksburg to the only retail store for Buddy Love, also known as Shop Buddy Love on the internet, and I did an in-person try-on. It was a lot of fun. I went way out of my comfort zone. I tried on a lot of mini dresses, some crop tops. Some of the things were a little more, I'd say, younger than I'm used to, but a few things I learned. One, if you're worried about short, just size up one, you usually get a little bit more length. And two, at some point, you just have to kind of embrace the body you've got. And, you know, I don't love my legs. I loved my legs in my teens and 20s. I don't love them now. But I have a feeling 20 years from now, I'm gonna look back and think, you should have enjoyed those legs because look at them now. So I'm gonna start wearing not maybe mini dress things, but maybe show my legs a little bit more as things warm up. Keep on watching for the full try on. And, you know, just keep in mind as you watch that I have all kinds of people watching. So I have people my age watching. I have people older than me watching. I have people far younger than me watching. Some people are shopping for themselves. Some people are shopping for their children or even their grandchildren. So hopefully this will give you some ideas and possibly introduce you to a brand that you've never heard of. Now, before I get any farther, I should have mentioned this is not sponsored. I was not gifted anything, but the owners were very sweet and did offer to give a discount to my subscribers. So that discount code is here and it'll be down in the description box and all the details as far as like how long and how much off will be in the description box as well. So very, very much appreciate the owners of Buddy Love for extending that gift to all of us. One more thing. I do very much need to thank the very kind, thoughtful, and very welcoming staff at the physical retail space in Fredericksburg, Texas. I took up most of their day and they were very sweet about it and we had a lot of fun. And without further ado, I bring you my try on from Buddy Love in Fredericksburg, Texas. So this is way out of my comfort zone, but I realize I have a diverse group of watchers and some of you may love this or you may have young or daughters that would really enjoy this. So this is part of, obviously all of this is part of their new spring collection. And this is super cute. And I think I have other things in this pattern, maybe not in this dress, but I'm wearing it in a small and the emperor waist. And then it's, it's the material is more like a, like a poplin cotton. Love it. I love the puff sleeves. You could technically wear it with the sleeves down and then here it is, full length. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this. This is the matching mommy and me. Oh my gosh, for Easter. How cute is this? You know what? I don't have to turn around because I can show you. This is what the back looks like. That smocking along the back, that's what the grown-up version looks like. Although I think it's a little longer on a young child. So I think this is absolutely adorable. Not so much on me, but on a younger person. Or if you're just really confident and want to rock it out. But if you love this print, oh my gosh. I wish I had a little, tiny little person to give this to. Okay, we're gonna stick with the shorter dresses and then we'll move into some maxis and then I'll end with some shirts and jeans. So this one, look at this print. Let's talk about the print first. One of the things I love about Buddy Love is if you like a print, then you're gonna have, they're gonna have it for you in all kinds of different styles. So if this particular dress is not your thing, you'll probably be able to find it in a shirt in a longer dress, in a different cut, etc. So this one has elastic around the sleeves that you can't see, it has a cute little ruffle detail. You can keep it tied or you can untie it if you want a little more cleavage or maybe you wanna wear a little cami or roulette underneath, you can do that. It has elastic smocking around the waist, so it lets you blouse out. And then this little flouncy skirt and I think it runs a little bit longer, just a tiny bit longer in the back. I need to, so, okay, Spanx would be good here. But anyway, gives you the idea. So that is another option. So this style is very similar to the dress I just shared with you, except the sleeves are longer. And I think you can now see the little elastic. So it's essentially the same concept. It has the smocking around the waist, little ruffle details here, but oh my gosh, this print. This print is everything. It's all of my favorite colors in one dress. So I wanted you to see this. Again, it's like a slightly higher low option. 
Let me zoom you in a little bit closer so you can see the neckline, the little pleated collar. You can tie it, but if you don't like this print, look at this. And can you see the gold? So it's a pink marble print and that metallic gold is just so, so pretty. It's very light and airy. And I should say that the skirt itself is lined. This is not the most flattering angle. Okay, one of the reasons I love doing dressing room try-ons in real life is that the employees actually know a little bit more about the clothes. So I size it up to a medium, gave me a little more room here, but also the material there is already blousy on the top. So not a huge difference here, but it did give me a couple more inches here and here. So way better fit for me to go up to the medium. Uh, so I would recommend, as recommended to me, if you're concerned about length, especially with these more blousey, flowy tops, so you're gonna have that look regardless, go up a size. So there you go, in the medium, much better. Now this is staying on my short list of things to bring with me on my cruise. This is the last of the dresses. I feel very Bridgerton, very Emma-like in this, but if you are looking for a maxi dress, I just love how this flows. I love the tiers. Let me get a little bit closer so you can see the detail, the smocking. You can definitely choose to wear it off the shoulder if you want to. Let me zoom you out a little. And then it goes all the way down. Obviously, I would not wear booties. I would definitely change the shoes out. But the details on this are so pretty. Like There's tiny little pink embroidered flowers that add a little bit of texture. It's beautiful. And then the back is the same smocking run across the back as well. Look how it flows. Can you tell I like it? I love it. Okay, now let's get into some shirts. Okay, now we are into their number one selling top. I know this because I own one myself and it's called, I think the, Nor what's it called? The North? The North. The North. Yes. North tunic. I am actually wearing this in an extra small. The one that I own is a small and um, now I know I should have bought it in an extra small. It works. It works especially because it gives you a little more length and then if you're concerned about you know wearing it with leggings or something. But this is such a versatile top. It's almost like a mini caftan and you can do a little tuck somewhere along the lines here if you wanted to. You can check the whole thing in. I've worn it with the whole thing tucked in. The material's really thin, so it won't bulk up on you, but the print options are insane. And look how it goes longer in the back. You can wear this with so many options. Cuter, obviously with maybe cut off shorts or white jeans, white skinny jeans. Like I said, tucked in. You could even wear this as a little swimsuit cover up. So many options. This is that snake print I believe we've seen before. Let me show you some of the other prints that it comes in. Hang on. Same top, the north top. This is in a very springy floral. Really pretty, fun, bright colors with pastels, which I love. And again, if you don't want the tunic look, I understand it. You can tuck it in. In fact, let me put the camera down. I'll tuck it in and I'll be right back. See? And there you have it tucked in. It looks like a totally different shirt. And there, yeah, there's a lot of material tucked into my pants, but I cannot even feel it because it's so thin and lightweight super comfortable definitely like it tucked in but i like to give you guys options this is fun i love this print and you can see over there behind my shoulder which way that way <laughs> a little peek of they have met robes in this print they have pajamas in this print so lots of fun things okay this is going to blow your mind this is a bodysuit and i don't know why i never thought about it they told me, when they showed this to me, I said, no, I'm not into bodysuits. I don't like the discomfort. I don't like not being able to get to the bathroom. And they said, no, no, just tuck it in. Don't button it. But it gives you less material and it takes the bulk out of this whole area. So this is a bodysuit. Let me zoom you in a little. This is all burnt, is it burnt out velvet? I believe that's what you call it. And if you wanted to, you know, bust it open, there's a hook and eye closure. So if you want to wear like a cute little tank or cami underneath it, you can definitely do that. I love the wider sleeves. This pattern is gorgeous. Look at just the detail. The solid color trim here. These colors are beautiful. So I just wanted to share one. Bodysuits are now back on the table for me because look, it's just tucked in. This is gonna be a really cute look. Watch this. See, I just didn't snap it. So you don't have to worry about 
that dental floss feeling in your rear and you can get to the bathroom quickly. It's a win-win. Okay, we are going to end the try on with a little bit of a laugh, just kind of how we started it, honestly. I think this is super cute. By no means am I saying that this is not absolutely adorable. It's just not for me. I can see actually my son's girlfriend wearing this and looking really cute, but I just wanted to share this again in case you enjoy wearing top like this or maybe you know someone who would. The material is amazing. I wish they had more pieces in this fabric. I love it. It's again that cotton poplin, square neckline, the puff sleeves. It's shorter, so I sized up one because I needed way more room in the boobs and I wanted a little bit more length, so I got it. I originally came out of a dressing room in a small and the seam for the bust hit me like mid-boob. It was not a good look. So I think you can even probably get away with wearing a regular bra and not need to wear a strapless with this. It is lined a little bit. So, and I am wearing, for reference, these are frame the high jeans, so they're high, but not crazy high, because look, there's my belly button. Pasty white fish belly there. Okay, so this is really cute. I love this material so much. I just think uh, this cut and the floral print is a little too young for me, but maybe one of you watching will love it. I know I said I was done. I found this when I was putting stuff away and we're not done, because this is actually what I think I'm gonna buy today. So this is a small, it's really roomy. Um, I would say if you're not as busty as me, you could size down one, but I need a little more room here. I would not wear it tied, so hang on. I like it open. Okay, I like it open. Obviously, I would need to steam it a little more, but I think this is a really fun way to wear the floral trend. And obviously, imagine this with maybe white jeans or joggers or a little skirt. I think that would look a little bit better. But look at this, the details of the layered pleats. So you get that bigger shoulder trend, but it doesn't make me look exactly like I'm wearing shoulder pads. I like, I don't know. I think it just depends how you style it. Like if I just wore it down like this, it's underwhelming, but tucking it in, giving a little shape, and suddenly it's a different outfit. So this is coming on with me. We have a winner. Actually, there were quite a few. I'm also leaning towards that purple dress that I sized up and I really think that is pretty for spring as well. All right, let me know what you think. What were your favorites? What were the standouts? Anything catch your eye? Remember, everything is listed down below in the description box in the order in which I showed them here. Thanks again for hanging out with me today. I hope you had some fun and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.